What's going on fellow Jeepers? Welcome back to Jeep TV. Today we're going to be working on SoCo behind me here and we are going to be getting this front grill replaced. I think you can uh, figure out where this is going. We are going to be re replacing this with a black one. So we're going to be blacking out the front grill. <laughs> So instead of taking the old grill off, painting it black, I kept the original from the last Jeep. So we will be painting this, actually not painting it, we're going to be plastic dipping this black. Um, we're going to get a good three or four coats on it. I've gone ahead and cleaned it up really, really well. I went over it with a, um, with a wipe and some rubbing alcohol to really get any bugs or debris off of it that I could. Um, a few other little things on here. I'll probably just go over it one more time uh, before we start spraying it because Plasti Dip is going to show any little bump or groove or anything like that. I'm not going to show you guys every little minute detail of this process. I think you get the picture. Uh, we're going to be painting this black and uh, get a few coats on it and then installing it on the Jeep and we'll see the aftermath. Alright, so we've got two coats on this. Let this one dry. Everything's turned out really well. So we got another uh, two coats on this and then it'll be ready to go. Alright, so the Jeep grill is painted. The Jeep over here is prepped. I can't go to the I can't get it to quit raining. So um, I pull the Jeep as far as possible. You know, my garage is full of tires and my YJ and this table and just so much crap. I have yet to get my spring cleaning done to get all this crap out of here. Um, but anyway, so my factory light that came with this Jeep is just crap. Um, this one right here. Um, it, it shakes and it's all wobbly in there. So I've also found that it's is uh, broke. So I've been out here fiddle farting around with it, but it looks like somebody has like melted some sort of putty or wrap or crap on there. So I'm kind of perturbed and I don't really understand why they did that, I guess, to lock it in place or something. But yeah, so this is broke. So I really can't get a good adjustment on my light, which really pisses me off. Um, I've been out here messing with it. It won't go forward, it won't go back, it just does that. Look at that. That's what it does. It's just shit. So I've got to get a new headlight. Um, I don't even know what the hell you want to call this. I got to get a new headlight socket. I don't know. Um, this one seems to be fine. You know the adjuster here and here. You know everything seems to be cool over here. But um, over here, not so much. We've got a lot of stuff working against us. And since I just moved that, look, that just popped off. Look. Ugh. So, yeah. Not good stuff is happening right now. So now when I go down the road, I'm just going to blind people or this light's just going to shake. Either way we go. Anyways, I'm going to keep messing with it. Um, also... Over here, I took the rings off because I decided, hey, wouldn't it be a good time to paint these black, make everything else black, just one less thing to be shiny. So, um, I just sprayed these down with self-etching primer, which is really awesome stuff, and then I'm going to hit it with some black. My 
nice and pretty. I'm just using the Ultra Cover Rust Oleum. Just a black. It's got a sheen on it. Um, Self etching primer. Uh, still, no update. I found my old grate though. Um, let's put it on the grill. So I may try to figure out a way to get this mounted inside that grill. Um, so yeah, we're still working to get this on, but um, dude, it just won't quit raining. I'm tired of rain, sick of rain. So it better not be raining in Florida. I think uh, it's supposed to be like, I don't know, 60 degrees. High 80, low 60s, so that'd be good. All right, so I have bored a hole here and a hole down here on each side. You know, I'm missing my wires. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my uh, mesh grill here, uh, rugged ridge, and I bent the ends up. So I'm hoping I can get it to sit right in here, just like so, right? And I will zip tie that in there. And then when I lay my grill back down here, it will match up perfectly behind here and sandwich it in there. So um, yeah, so if this works, this will be something that you guys can try. Um, if you guys don't have the bracketry. Um, but yeah, there's all types of different ways people have done this, but uh, you know, this is plastic, so it's really not gonna hurt anything. All right, so I don't know if it's just icing on the cake or dumb luck, but it actually turned out really nice. I positioned it just perfectly. I'll let you guys see. Um, so yeah, so it came down about uh, two inches, zipped a hole uh, from the bottom, one inch, zipped a hole, same thing over here, up one inch, zipped a hole, up here, down two inches, zipped a hole, and it's perfect. I mean, it's it could possibly be bent out just a little bit. Um, but what happens is, you know, you, you've got it held here. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, but this grill, basically, um, once you fasten it on here, it's going to press itself against this. Um, so, yeah. I'm waiting on my uh, rings that we painted black to dry. I'm going to put a second coat on them. So once those dry, we'll get those rings on there put our factory lights back on. Um, what I'm gonna have to do is, I'm gonna have to back the Jeep up and do a test shot of this one um, to make sure it's not high or low. Um, I wanna make sure it's even, so we'll look at that. And then that'll be it. All right, so we've got our blacked out rings on here. These are the factory headlights I got with my two-door that I took off and kept. So these are actually hopefully going to be a little bit nicer and they actually have updated bulbs in them. So anyways, um, I was able to get this um, rugged ridge cage on here nice and tight. Um, so we're going to go ahead and lay the grill on and see what it looks like.
that one's there. The last little key ingredient is getting our plugs back in. Here we go, and let's take a look at her. Pretty badass, right? Yeah. Light socket or adjustable. I don't even want to, I don't even know what you call it. I don't know. I haven't looked into it yet. So, um, anyways, it's broke. So, we're gonna back up, shine the light the garage door. They look pretty much the same. Um, the right one is just a, it's just a very, very minute, small difference higher. So we're going to just, we're going to back up and, uh, get a better look at it. So we'll back up. Probably at like about 20 feet right here. Actually, pretty close to the same. There's a complete line. It's still just a hair higher on this right side. It's very hard to see um, on the video. So, I think I should adjust it and see what I can do. I'm gonna take a picture too to see if there's any difference from a picture. Now, you really can't tell. I mean, it's almost like it's just faded away. It's really not that big of a difference, but I mean, it's, it's enough if someone really wanted to be super picky. Um. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for joining me today. We got the Jeep grill on, painted. We got the Rugged Ridge uh, mesh grill in, and we painted the rings around the headlights. So, it's a great upgrade, very easy to do. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Uh, if this is your first time here, check out some of my other videos and hopefully you'll subscribe. Thank you guys so much again. Peace out. Take care. Keep jeeping.